Social Democrats Friedrich Ebert and Philipp Scheidemann are confronted with many unsolved problems. People are free of the burden of war, but how will things develop? The tasks they face are enormous. Millions of frontline soldiers must be brought home and reintegrated into civilian life. First, Friedrich Ebert secures the support of the military to ensure calm and law and order. The economy needs to be transformed to supply the needs of peacetime. Above all, after years of hunger, people need food. The SPD and the USPD, a splinter group, form an interim government, the Rat der Volksbeauftragten. A plenary session of workers' and soldiers' councils is called to determine the shape of the new republic. Do people want a republic of councils or a parliamentary democracy? Philipp Scheidemann announces that parliamentary democracy is the new form of government. A national assembly, he says, should prepare the future constitution. The political parties have little time to prepare their election campaigns. Generally, the transition to democracy proceeds peacefully. But the fear of revolution from the left remains an election issue. The Spartacus League and left-wing radical groups are determined to impose a republic of councils, according to the Soviet model. And in early January 1919, they occupy Berlin's newspaper district. There's fighting between armed Spartacists and government forces. All negotiations fail. The government deploys the Freikorps, an armed group of former officers and frontline soldiers. They are an anti-democratic paramilitary force ready to combat the Spartacus League. <laughs> 